Hello, today is Sunday, February 12th, 2022. I wrote something a while back, I don't remember how long ago, but it was quite a while back, maybe three or four months ago. I just wrote thoughts. Learn techniques that work for you. My positive emotions in my life again, or the positive emotions in life again, we all experience struggles, uh, triggers, which brings on trauma response that comes from poor skills in our negative experiences from our past, whatever flashback or overwhelming feeling of what can't or why can't I let go of this, whatever it may be. Traumatic exp exp uh, responses is something like that cause and effect. And the mind goes, remember why you did that? Because of fill in the blanks. I was feeling hurt and that caused me to respond in a fear response, right? Fear responses are, are uh, trauma responses based on example, feeling attacked or feeling embarrassed. Hurt can be anything that causes emotional trauma hurt and trauma are the same <laughs> one and the same uh hurt can be anything that causes emotional irregulation um dysregulation is like uh you know the trauma or shock in our lives most people feel it it is another a uh, person who did, pers another person who did this horrible, horrible thing to me. However, as we mature, we start understanding we can take responsibility for our feelings in life. Uh, though doing something that builds us up. Feeling good is feeling from within. So when feeling trauma, fear, shame, denial... It usually means, hey, my inner voice is speaking to me or is valuable. I should listen to my inner voice, my inner child. Nope. <laughs> There's that part of us that says, no, no, no. That's just a child. What do children know? No, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> oh. And then we go back to more reading. Feeling like that, perhaps in a good event, as a birthday, like a birthday party, balloons popping, ascending, message of a threatening, a traumatizing, state of fear and anxiety and of the not knowing sends a message to the young brain i don't feel safe so the dips acronyms we go to a place a safe place like a dips acronym you, of course we all have our own acronyms we choose to go to so the dip acronyms is dignity self dignity Self-interindependence, self-preference, self-privacy, and self-safety. Goes to the neuron like a, as we mature. And that was not the boogies. <laughs> that was on my mind playing tricks. Causing me to feel shame. That denial feeling. I am the only one feeling. The only one feeling stupid, etc. So the low projecting of uh, ourselves and child are very similar to childhood behaviors. They come true in teenage years and, and projection or inner critic to other to others in parenting in relationship with romantic partners as well in relationship with our siblings. 
This is self-defeating behavior. For deep down inside, we still feel unworthy of the love, of love. Love is something that's given to us by grace. Forgiveness is something that's given to us by grace. Now, when it comes to trust, that's something that is, uh, is something we build, is something we earned, right? People, when we show up somewhere, for the, people who haven't seen us in a long time or have never met us before, and we just show up on the scene and, you know, <laughs> it's only natural not to expect people to be trusting of us because we're new, right? So uh, building ourselves up in encouragement go over your many accomplishments and success in the Lord shows that we understand we feel lost and only through God we can receive salvation. A self boundary shows self-awareness and self-acknowledgement shows that we are not perfect but have a willingness to build our self-esteem. We all have a moral compass to know what yours is Make a list of your pros on one side of the sheet and the other on the other side of the sheet. Make a list of cons. Which side of the sheet can be either side? Then look at the list of pros, success, and the list of cons. Not so good. Pros, basic, healthy, spiritual, emotional mental physical and financial being i am breathing i practice healthy breathing i trust god i trust myself good god provides all my need according to his riches and glories now the con the, con, the cons or the bad right that would be the shock the hurt the anger rageful tantrum jealousy judgmental criticism Fault finding, fear, shame, denial, and ungrateful. If you'll notice on this list, the cons list is really unfruitful. There's no love on this list. The, the, the first list is about love. It's all love based, right? And now. Basic health, spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical well-being. Right? I can't breathe because I feel unsafe. I feel anxious, etc. I don't believe in myself. I don't believe God is good. I've heard God allows these things. When we get to connect with God, we know different, right? Now, find the balance that you need in your life. Or, and I can find the balance that I need in my life that keeps me humble. Does all the bad experience keep us humble? Does all the good experience in life keep us in pride? Is being prideful belong? Is being prideful belong on the list of pros or cons? Is being humble belong on the list of pros or cons? You know, what is healthy and what is unhealthy behavior? basically right i personally love to challenge myself to see that i don't second guess myself but to believe in myself by god's grace and mighty love all right i'm sharing this on my youtube channel and i can also include in the description below today's fears and resentment list Pretty much about discernment. Have a good day.